Welcome back to the Crypto Trading Bot Masterclass. In the first episode, I introduced you to crypto trading bots and gave an overview of their advantages and disadvantages. If you haven't watched the first episode, I recommend watching it before continuing with this episode. Today, I will provide you with an overview of the three most commonly used crypto trading bots, their advantages and disadvantages, and I will compare them with each other. There will be separate full episodes focusing on each type of trading bot, but this episode will give you a general guidance on which bots fit your style. Even though crypto trading bots have unlimited configuration possibilities, there are some strategies that are more commonly used than others as they have been used for a very long time in traditional markets and are very easy to understand and set up. If you are already a long-term investor in stocks or crypto, you may have heard of the first strategy, which is called dollar cost averaging. Dollar cost averaging, or short DCA, is a strategy in which you divide the total amount to be invested into equal amounts and invest those equal amounts at regular intervals. The goal of dollar cost averaging is to reduce the impact of volatility on the overall purchase price of an investment buying at regular intervals rather than all at once. For example, suppose you have $10,000 to invest in Bitcoin. Rather than investing all of the money at once, you could choose to invest $1,000 every month for 10 months. This would result in you buying more Bitcoin when the price is low and fewer when the price is high, which can help to average out the overall price. DCA bots are by far the most commonly used crypto trading bots as they rely on dollar cost averaging, which has been used since the beginning of investing in traditional markets like stocks. DCA bots are very beginner friendly but they can also be customized to your specific needs. Generally speaking, DCA bots focus more on long-term gains by making fewer trades but with bigger profits. DCA bots are low to medium risk depending on your configuration and choice of cryptocurrencies to trade. The biggest risk you are facing is getting stuck in so-called red bags. These are trades on cryptos that have gone down 80 to 90% or even more and it's not likely that the trades will ever close, getting you stuck with a losing trade. However, if you focus on low risk configurations, only trade the biggest cryptocurrencies and don't go all in, red bags can easily be avoided. The second most commonly used type of crypto trading bots are grid bots. As the name suggests, grid bots work by setting up a grid around the current market price of a cryptocurrency. A grid is simply a series of buy and sell orders at predetermined prices above and below the current price. The goal of grid trading is to profit from the volatility in the market by buying low and selling high while minimizing the impact of market trends on the overall performance of the trade. Grid bots work best whenever markets are going sideways and get stuck within a specific range. As opposed to DCA bots, Grip bots don't offer a lot of configuration possibilities, but there are still some settings that you absolutely have to think about or you could lose all your money very quickly. The biggest risk factor is a sudden dump below your predetermined grid, which would stop the bot, most likely leaving you with a small loss. Again, the risk overall depends on your configuration and choice of cryptocurrency to trade, but I would say grid bots are medium to high risk. Grip bots also focus more on short to midterm gains while making a lot of trades, which can be up to 100 daily, but all of them making a very small profit. You could also say that grid bots are scalper bots because they trade on very, very small timeframes with small profits on each trade. One of the most misunderstood crypto trading bots are arbitrage bots. Arbitrage works by buying one cryptocurrency on exchange A and then selling it at a higher price on exchange B. So for example, the current price of Bitcoin against USDT on Binance is $16,000 and the current price of Bitcoin against USDT on Coinbase is $16,100. To arbitrage, you could now buy one Bitcoin for $16,000 on Binance and then sell it for $16,100 on Coinbase to make $100 in profit. In theory, this sounds very simple, but this type of arbitrage is almost impossible to do nowadays. You see, with the rise of crypto trading bots, arbitrage opportunities have become smaller and smaller because there are thousands of bots scanning every exchange every millisecond. A 
as soon as they spot an arbitrage opportunity, they will take advantage of it. So in the background of all exchanges, there is a literal war going on between arbitrage bots, making it harder and harder to spot opportunities. But this is not the only problem. Other problems like network congestion, withdrawal fees, and the time it takes to transfer from exchange A to exchange B makes exchange arbitrage not easy anymore. Luckily for us, there are different forms of arbitrage. While arbitrage between exchanges almost never works anymore, arbitrage between markets does work very well. What I'm talking about is arbitraging between the spot and futures market. Just like the Bitcoin price can be different on exchange A and exchange B, the price of Bitcoin in the spot market can also be different than the price of Bitcoin in the futures market. This alone is not an arbitrage opportunity as you cannot buy Bitcoin in the spot market and then sell it for a profit in the futures market. But what you can do is set up a market neutral position and then collect the funding fee in the futures market every eight hours. The funding fee is a mechanism that has been set up to balance the futures market. It occurs every eight hours and depending on the current rate, either all long positions have to pay short positions or vice versa. By default, Short positions receive a small profit every 8 hours, making this a realistic arbitrage opportunity. In fact, case studies have been made that show that you can make between 15 and 50% profit annually with almost no risk. The only risk you're facing is the liquidation of your futures position. In a case of liquidation, you have to pay a liquidation fee that will lower your overall profit. However, with the use of bots, you can avoid paying this fee as the bot will stop automatically if the price nears liquidation. As spot futures arbitrage bots make the lowest profit, they also focus on long-term gains. But in comparison with all our crypto trading bots, spot futures arbitrage bots by far offer the lowest risk, making this a very nice beginner strategy. Let's have a quick look at all the different types of bots again. DCA bots. They utilize dollar cost averaging by buying at regular intervals and avoiding short-term volatility. They focus on long-term gains while making few trades with bigger profits. DCA bots are low to medium risk, but highly dependent on your configuration. Grip bots. They work by creating a series of buy and sell orders above and below the current price and profiting of very small fluctuations. They focus on short to mid-term gains while making a lot of trades with smaller profits. Grip bots are medium to high risk, also depending on your configuration and choice of cryptocurrency. Arbitrage bots. They work by taking advantage of price discrepancies between different exchanges or markets. While exchange arbitrage is almost impossible to do anymore, spot futures arbitrage offers the best risk to reward ratio. They focus on long-term gains while generating profit almost every 8 hours. They offer the lowest risk out of all types of crypto trading bots. Like I said in the beginning of this video, there will be separate episodes focusing on each type of bot that I showed you today. So if you are particularly interested in one of them, make sure to check out the video focusing on this type of crypto trading bot. As always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss any episodes. Let me know which bot you're most interested in in the comment section below. See you in the next episode. Bye.